Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has been doing its bit to move people off of Windows 10 and encouraging users to upgrade to Windows 11, and I say encouraging tongue-in-cheek. And it seems now that Microsoft is ramping up its efforts once again to get as many people off of Windows 10 onto Windows 11 before the end of support of Windows 10 later this year in October. Now, as we have been talking about on the channel, Microsoft has gone as far as to tell you to go out and buy a new Windows 11 PC if your current Windows 10 cannot be upgraded to Windows 11, which, as I've mentioned previously, I think is a bit cheeky for obvious reasons. And Microsoft's latest attempt now, once again, it's telling users that they should upgrade to Windows 11 or preferably buy a new PC in order to, and I'm quoting, stay on the right side of risk. Now, staying on the right side of risk, I think the tone is kind of designed to scare people out of the idea of continuing to use Windows 10 after support ends. And this is all according to a video uploaded to the official Windows YouTube channel, which reminds again and I say again because Microsoft has been on a mission to get people off of Windows 10 onto Windows 11. That Windows 10 support ends October 14th this year, 2025. So if we have a closer look at um, these screen grabs taken from Microsoft's official Windows YouTube channel. And by the way, I'll leave the video of this link down below in the description. So if we have a look, security updates for Windows 10 are ending 14 October. Upgrade now to a Windows 11 Pro PC, and that is more specifically a Windows 11 Intel V Pro. And then here we get and stay on the right side of risk, which once again I'm going to say is a little bit cheeky because, because while the message about security isn't wrong, I think how they've delivered it feels more like a warning than a helpful tip. Let me know what you think in the comments. And Microsoft is right to say that there are risks involved in using an unsupported operating system. But I think kind of using scare tactics to get users to stay on the right side of risk isn't going to cut it for a lot of um, users of the Windows 10 operating system. Because Windows 10 will not just become a risk on the 14th of October 2025, it's going to take much longer than that where things are going to become a risk. I would give it a good couple of months, even up to a year, where if you haven't received any updates after 14th of, of October, which Microsoft says you won't, then I think a year or so after Windows 10 support ends, I would start thinking of making a plan in some direction or other, as I've been talking about on the channel. I don't want to go into all the options because we've discussed that in depth on the channel. But just on a side note, um, if you do want to carry on using Windows 10 after end of support, I have posted a video, Tips for Using Windows 10 Security After Support Ends. Obviously, that's to some certain extent or the other. I'll leave that link down below and yeah, in the end screen. And I'll also leave a playlist here for you regarding the end of Windows 10, which has a lot of useful information um, if you are affected and would like some more information regarding that upcoming end of support. So what do you think regarding Microsoft's latest efforts? Saying that you need to stay on the right side of risk. Do you think they're legit or scare tactics? Give me your thoughts down below. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.